I admit, it's quite a story, but I know the difference between a tall tale and a large problem. I'll help however I can. I shudder to think what your elven circus would consider far-fetched. I'm not so sure I believe it myself. Greetings, traveler. If you've come to witness the marvels and mysteries of our troupe, I hope you haven't traveled far. Our performance is postponed indefinitely. On account of drama, ironically enough. There's a more sinister mischief in Farmer's Nook than the sort the House of Reveries trades in. Uh, I hear of townsfolk disappearing, only to turn up and act oddly. We only set camp recently, but the locals fear we've somehow caused their plight. None. That farmer Hesef said his sister was among the afflicted, and she died recently. At least he thought she died, but she left no corpse. I must clear the troop's name. With the locals wary as they are, though, I need help. And I can pay. Hesef mentioned that two of his neighbors also had loved ones vanish, Braden DeVoe and Jahuz. Speak with them. They may be more open with a less grandiose traveler. You might also speak with Hesef directly if you wish. Right. Any other day, I'd claim to be the lost princess of Piandania and regale you with tales of my exploits, but now's not the time for such frivolities. My fellows and I are entertainers from the House of Reveries, here to perform across all of Tamriel. All right. What's the House of Reveries? I've been greatly disappointed with how often I've gotten that question since we departed from Somerset. There's not a soul in the Isles who hasn't heard of the Manor of Masks and its famed performers. But Tamriel will know it soon enough. Should we go? So it's like a theater. Theater, conservatory, circus, salon, temple! The House of Reveries wears as many guises as we do. It is the ancestral home of all the performing arts in Somerset. And the world, if you believe some of the Sapiarchs. I've made it to the city of a little town. Sleepy little towns like Farmer's Nook are the most in need of an escape from the mundane. We came to offer them some mirth and mystery, but it appears we've been upstaged. Well, our troop won't be outdone so easily. We have a reputation to uphold. What are you planning to do? Help, of course. I've devoted my life to liberating people from their troubles, however briefly. And if I can't do that from a stage, then I will take my talents where they are most needed. I may seem a simple thespian to you, but I have had other roles in this life before I found my calling. While I may not count adventurer among them, I'm certain that I am far better prepared to unravel this mystery than these unfortunate folk. So, working with the Mummers. They may seem strange, but you're safer resting at their camp than at the inn. Not to say Braden runs a poor establishment, mind. There's just strangeness afoot in our little village. Nothing out of the village of Pot. Your province to suggest that I hear your story or myself. Uh, folk have been going missing of late, including my sister, Seal. Never for long, in a few days. Just enough to plant to worry before they wander back as if nothing happened. But something did. They come back different. Like 
Everything's unfamiliar. Wait, she forgot everything? Uh, weren't her memory. She could recall details down to where she last left the salt, but acted like she'd never tasted it. She'd bring hmm. up things I'd long forgotten as if they'd happened yesterday. Started dredging up old hurts we'd put past us long ago. But they'd be related to her disappearing. Can't say. Felt like she wanted to relive the past, good and bad. Hmm. Don't know what would have brought that on. We lead quiet lives now. Happy lives, I thought. Uh, led, I suppose. She's gone now. If it was even her in the first place. What happened to her? Seal led me to our old swimming hole. Hadn't been there in decades. She dove right in like we did as kids. I... I looked away before she struck the water. She hit hard. Ouch. When I screwed up the courage to look, just inky black water. She was gone. That was the last time you, time you saw her? That's right. Even with that ink in the pool, I could tell her body weren't there. I searched around the swimming hole, too. Nothing. Not so much as a wet footprint or even more of that vile ink, like she'd vanished. That's weird. What sort of things did uh, Seal bring up before she took you to the swimming hole? A lot from our childhood, mostly. If our parents were around, they were deep in the skooma, so Seal and I had to look out for each other. Oh. Not so much anymore. The years have been peaceful here. I suppose we'd grown distant before she vanished. You drifted apart? No, no. Maybe. We'd sit down for meals together and tend the farm together, but there's not much to talk about in Farmer's Nook. Another field planted, another day gone by. Yeah. Was she trying to tell me something? What was she trying to say? Can you tell me about the time before your sister went missing? We were all a bit shaken by what happened with Igman, but things were getting back to normal. Until Seal went out to collect logs and didn't return. I begged the others to help me search for her, but they feared they'd vanish too. Did you find anything? Truth is, I didn't make it far myself. I thought I heard things in those woods. Mm. Even during the day, it felt like something was watching. When she showed up at the house again, I nearly fainted. I should have been relieved, but I felt haunted. Think it could have been a ghost? Can a ghost take your hand? Make a meal? If she slept, I never saw it. I barely slept myself. Hmm. Oh, the staring was the worst. Felt like she was always watching, smiling. When she'd blink, it was like one eye was a hair shy of the other. Gave me chills. That's weird. Thanks, sir. There's something weird is definitely going on here. scared the mayor. Who are you? What do you want? Looking into the disappearances and the strange way people are acting when they return. You've come about Bugtail. I knew someone would, but my neighbors have kept their distance since he returned. I cannot blame them. I scarcely wish to take him back myself. Not after Igman and Seal, but I couldn't bring myself to turn him away. Are you afraid of Bugtail? Yes. Or rather, I fear I will share his fate. Bugtail rode out to deliver a horse despite my protest. The gelding mm. returned. He did not. Before, I would have been the first to go looking, but I dreaded he'd return. Like the others. And he did. Where is he now? Dead. Or gone. For now. 
Even the horses could tell something was wrong with him. I fought with this one's reins as he groomed her, but she started and kicked Bugtail. Ink sprayed everywhere. <sighs> when I cleared my eyes, it was all that remained. I have some other questions if you're willing to share more. I do not wish to speak of what has happened here, but I will. How many more will vanish and return to haunt us if no one tries to stop it? What is it you wish to know, stranger? Who was Bartel to you? In the far-off land of elsewhere, I was taken by sea elf privateers and sold into imperial slavery. Bugtail oh. had been a slave for many years when I arrived. Like many Khajiit after Queen Eurexia invaded elsewhere, we bonded because we spoke so little. How did, how did you escape? You may think me a spinner of tall tales, but I swear I speak no lies. Bugtail and I were languishing under the hot sun, digging new metal for the Imperial Queen, when a dragon swooped out of the sky and scorched the land. In the chaos, we ran. You really saw a dragon. I will Jeez. never forget the sound of those Eurexian soldiers screaming. Truthfully, I do not know what scared me more, seeing that giant fire-belching beast, or my quiet friend standing at my door like a phantom. What about Bugtail made you and your horses uneasy? I would not have suspected anything amiss had I not known of what happened to Igman and Seal. There was nothing sinister in his look or manner. If anything, he regarded me more warmly than he had in years. Normally, he could go days without a word. Any idea why he was so talkative? He seemed to want to reminisce about our more adventurous days before we escaped to Farmer's Nook and settled down to raise horses. <laughs> they were livelier times, but I would not trade them for what I have now. Thank, thank you very much, sir. Okay, something is definitely going on here. Sounds almost sounds almost Lovecrafty to me. Especially the part of um of a uh, bug tail splattering into ink. The happy crow. I like that, Dave. <laughs> I love that flame here. 